We are on page five of your big blue book of parent functions, uh, the last of the parent functions for unit three. So this is an odd power, a cubic parent function. Uh, the cubic is the simplest version of an odd power, but you have many different odd powers. Uh, x to the seventh will have the same key points and the same properties. So will x to the 49th. So will many, many odd powers of x. And they will all have a domain of all real numbers. As you can see, x can be anything. You can see that from the graph that it goes on forever, and you can also see that from the equation because there's nothing dangerous about taking an odd power. Uh, the range is also all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. Y can be positive, negative, and anything in between. It, you notice that there's one intercept, that it intercepts the x-axis and the y-axis in the same place, as 0, 0. You notice that there are no asymptotes. You notice that the key points are the same as on your line, which is curious enough. That's the same as y equals x to the first. So your key points negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1 are all nice on the graph. You notice the symmetry. This is a nicer example of an odd function where you have 180 degree rotation symmetry. If we rotate 180 degrees, you get the same graph. It's pretty cool. Um, so it's symmetric about the origin. 0, 0. Which means that it's also rotational symmetry. Rotation by 180 degrees, which means it is an odd function, which should not be surprising. We called it an odd power function. So it wouldn't be surprising that it's odd. It is one to one because each y value has only one x value. Here at zero, zero, it's starting to get close, but it never turns back on itself. So it is a one to one function. Good. It is continuous also. As you notice, you can draw the graph and you can draw it all without picking up your pencil. It's all good, so it's continuous, yes, on the entire domain from negative infinity to infinity. The end behavior as we're looking at this, the end behavior we're looking out this way. As we look out to here, we're approaching x is approaching infinity, y is approaching infinity. As we go down here, x is approaching negative infinity, so is y. So infinity, infinity for the x's, infinity and negative infinity for the y's. y approaches the same thing that x does. All good. Notice that it does not have any minimum or maximum points. It is also increasing everywhere. As you go left to right, it's increasing. It has, it's increasing pretty quickly down here, then it increases very slowly, then it starts increasing faster and faster again. But it's increasing on the whole domain. Negative infinity, then negative infinity, negative infinity, thank you very much, to infinity, and it's decreasing never. Not really too many alternate forms of a cubic other than the standard transformations that we're doing in this chapter. Uh, it does have some applications. Most have to do with volume. There's some applications in physics that uh, are cubics, but I don't think you're doing many of those this year, so volume is the main application. There's your cubic function, a representative of all odd power functions, and